counting protons and electrons in atoms and atomic ions. But they ask us to fill in the missing information. So we have a blank box here. And uh, we are told that this is a neutral atom. It is not an ion. Positively charged ions are cations and negatively charged ions are anions. We are not given the number of protons, but we are given the number of electrons. And the number of electrons is 10. Well, from this information, I can also deduce that the number of protons would also be 10. Why? Because this is a neutral atom. Electrons have a negative charge and protons are positively charged. So if I have 10 negatively charged electrons, I must also have 10 positively charged protons to cancel out the charges on each of these subatomic particles. I know that the charges are canceled because this is a neutral atom, meaning there is no net overall charge. So now that I know that the number of protons is 10, I can easily find out what the symbol of the element is by referring to my periodic table. Remember, the number of protons is equal to the atomic number. So I'm looking for the element that is atomic number 10. If I check my periodic table, that appears to be neon. So its element symbol is NE. Let's look at the next one. I don't have the element symbol, and I'm not told whether it's an atom or an ion. But I am given the number of protons and the number of electrons. So the number of protons is 41, and the number of protons is also equal to the atomic number. So if I go to 41, I find the element symbol, N, B. There it is right there. I also can see that the number of protons, in this case, the number of protons is not equal to the number of electrons. I have 41 positively charged protons, and I have 39 negatively charged electrons. Which one do I have more of? Positive protons or negative electrons? I have more of the positively charged protons. How many more? Two more. 39 plus 2 is 41. So that means that this ion is going to have a net charge, a net charge of plus 2, because there are two more positively charged protons than there are the negatively charged electrons. So because this is a positively charged ion, I have a cation. Cation are, cations are positively charged ions. And to finish this part of the problem off, what we must do is indicate that this is an ion by taking the charge of this ion, which is plus 2, and placing it as a superscript here in the top right corner above the element symbol, NB2+. Here, I'm given an element symbol. And the element symbol is GE for germanium, except it has a charge here in the top right corner. By convention, the charges of ions are placed as superscripts in the top right. And the charge is minus 1. So I know I don't have a neutral atom. Well, that is out. This is out. It is not a neutral atom. It is an ion. The question is, is it a positively charged ion or a negatively charged ion? Well, the charge is negative 1. So that means this is not a cation, but an anion. So how many protons and electrons do we have in this case? Well, let's start with protons. Because this is germanium, the number of protons will never change, even if this is an ion. The number of protons is always going to be equal to the atomic number for germanium. Germanium is here. The atomic number is 32, which means I have 32 protons. 
So I can now determine how many electrons I have. Because this is an ion with a net charge of minus one, that means that I must have one more electron than I have protons. How many protons do I have? 32. So I must have 33 electrons.